One really fun, totally customizable feature of your Anchor card is the call to action section that appears on your homepage. This section is all about encouraging your audience who's visiting your Anchor card to take an important action that you want them to take. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that means and how you can use it to help take your audience on a journey that eventually leads them to becoming your customer. So to edit the call to action section, you're gonna go to the homepage tab of your anchor card and you're gonna open up the call to action section. Now here you'll find this tutorial that you're watching and you'll also find a blog post where I give you some more ideas on what your call to action could be. So if you're feeling stuck, start here. Now you have the option to turn this section on or off. So if you decide that you don't want to have a call to action, no problem. Just flip this switch so that it's gray and then hit update. But let's go ahead and turn this section on. Now by default, your call to action section includes a call to action inviting people to join your Facebook community. Now that's one action that you might want people to take, joining your Facebook group. But you could also have other actions that are important for people to take. That could be following you on Instagram. It could be visiting your TikTok account, or you could even promote a special offer that you're doing. So if you have a special product that you have on sale this month, you could dedicate this entire section to inviting people to come and buy that one special product. The whole purpose of this is to put a really narrow focus on taking one super important action. So let's imagine that there's nothing here and we're gonna update this to be a call to action that invites people to come and join my Facebook group. And for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm gonna pretend that I have a fitness business. So the first thing I'm gonna to need to do is add a title. Now, if I have a fitness business, let's say I have a Facebook group that's dedicated to sharing fitness tips, I might put something like this as my title. And then I'm going to put in a nice description that tells people a little bit more about what I'm asking them to do. So you can see I said, join my VIP community. And then down here, I elaborated on why they should join my community. Now, the next thing, I need to include a URL to whatever I want them to do. So there's gonna be a button and we need to send them somewhere. So if this is a Facebook group, we need to go to facebook.com and then we need to type in our group. And then the last thing would be to add a label for your button. Now, this shouldn't be super long. Remember, it's just a button, kind of like you're seeing on the right side here. So maybe I just wanted to say join the community now or even simpler, I could put join now. Whatever you want, go ahead and put that there. And then click update. Okay, now our anchor card has refreshed, so let's take a look at our shiny new call to action. There it is. We can now see our title has been added, which we added here. Our description was added, which we added here. And we also have a button, which leads to our Facebook page. So that's it. That's how simple it is to create a custom call to action for anything that you want your audience to do when they visit your anchor card.